Howdy everyone, Scott Free For All here. I am back. I am up to making videos again after, wow, it's been at least a month. I apologize for that. Um, but we're here on Osada and we're going to get things done. Uh, it's been a while since we've been here. If you want a refresher on what we did last time we were here, I'll leave a link in the upper right hand corner of the last episode if you want to go and hit that first and then come back if not let's get busy um so what we're gonna do today mostly we're gonna fertilize if we look at the ph or if we look at the nitrogen of our fields you'll see that they are red and they need fertilizer now field two <laughs> we have also uh seeded I have, for some reason, not purchased the precision farming data. So let's do that real quick for $525. And you can see it's pretty red as well. And the, just to remind you, the crops that we are growing is we have um, canola up here. And then we have, let's see, which one is mine? 14. We're growing, uh, looks like wheat. And then in two, I guess we're growing wheat again. So let's get over to our fertilizer. I want to show you what we've got going on. So our fertilizer and our seeds are a bit of a mess. So I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup. I'm going to uh, put away the seeds. Um, I'm going to leave the fertilizer in the pickup for now so we can take it out to the field and refill if we need to. Here is our tractor. We still have the cedar attached. Let's get that removed. And I've thought about where to put the seeds. There's not a wonderful place to put them, but I've decided that I'm gonna put them right on top of uh, that little box. I'll show you when, when we get a little bit better uh, position. Now, question. Can I pick up this bag that's on the ground? Maybe if I push it up against the truck, like that. There we go. All right. It is so nice to have a front loader. We upgraded our tractor in the last uh, episode. So we now have a front loader we have quite a bit more horsepower and we have a uh, three point uh, and PTO in the front now. And I really should have moved that tractor. I mean, I really should have moved that trailer. Um, anyway, I'm gonna put it right here. Yeah, that went surprisingly smoothly. Gonna need to remove a strap. This one right here. Well, let's just do it this way. All right.
This bigger uh, Zetor tractor is a lot peppier than my other little Zetor. Don't want to jinx things, but my front loader execution is going unusually well. <laughs> I think I just jinxed myself now. Well, let's find out. All right, we did it, other than crashing into our cultivator. Excellent. All right, we're gonna do a couple things. Number one, we're gonna hook up our fertilizer spreader. We're gonna fill it up with fertilizer, and then if we run out, we will take the truck over to the field and refill. There is a slight chance that we won't need to refill, but I really don't know how much we're gonna need. And I'm in the wrong place because my fertilizer spreader is right over here. And I really need to move this trailer. So I'm gonna do that first. All right. Go ahead and fill this up. Okay. The spreader holds exactly a thousand liters of fertilizer. So exactly one big bag. Now, I don't think it much matters which field we do first. We'll just start over here and work our way over. And we may spread this in one big go, but let's see. And that is that. <laughs> that was. That didn't take long at all. And it looks like we are at our optimal fertiles. Uh, looks like we are at our optimal nitrogen level on that field. Now this. This guy over here has been growing. What are we growing? Well, we're growing canola. As you can see, the pH is perfect. The nitrogen is bad. So let's fix that. Caught behind the Venetian blind Try to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I've become I've been running least Looking for something Digging deep since now Gone. Sitting in my pocket in plain sight all alone. I think it's time for me to go burn all bridges. All I know, I got lost along the way, fell between the phone, pulling the stitches. Time to let. Come 
I think I missed just a little bit in this corner right here. There. All right, let's see. Did we get it all? Looks like we did. You can see that this is all red right here, but I was kind of a bonehead and I did not put any seed there, as you can see. So I think we're good. Let's move on. We've got 23% left. I would say there's a very slight chance that we'll get it all done without having to refill. But let's find out. Nope, and we're out. Okay. So let's back up to where we ran out. And let's go get our truck. Get out of here, deer. Eating the canola plants. All right. I do like this old Ford. What did I hit? I hit the barn door. <laughs> we should just shut that, don't you think? There we go. All right, off we go. I mean, technically this is a lizard brand, but you and I both know this is based on an old Ford pickup. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill this all the way up, so the complete bag, and then we won't have to put away the fertilizer bags. And there we are. All right. All right, let's head back to the farm. Now, I did check on our chickens before I started recording. They are doing just fine. They've got plenty of feed. Um, they are not old enough to reproduce yet, but they are getting there, so we will be patient, but I look forward to having some eggs to sell very soon. Now, this didn't take long at all, and our fields are all ready to go for the most part. I should probably open this other door. So what I thought we would do is maybe do a little contract. That would be fun. And I took a look at contracts. And we actually could do some harvesting. 
And I thought we would harvest some sorghum because if there's a little left over, we can feed that to our chickens. I'm going to save the game real quick. So we have all of our work captured. And I'm drinking some coffee right now, so. And you know what? I need to uh, get time going. Ooh, that got dark real quick. What I looked at was field seven. Um, it's a two acre field. We can harvest sorghum. The other field I looked at was field 27. Um, it's about the same size, uh, also sorghum. If we look at where 7 and 27 are located with respect to our farm here, 7 is right here, so pretty convenient. 27 is over here, pretty much farther away. But where we're going to be delivering is up here. So maybe not that much difference. But I think I'm going to do 7. That, that's an interesting shape of a field. And so we're going to we're going to do that. I should probably accept that contract. Let's do that. Field seven. Accept contract. Now it's interesting that it shows if you want to lease the equipment, it's going to give you cotton harvesting. And I notice all the pictures for these. Uh, contracts are all messed up. Now that that one actually might make sense for sorghum. But here's sorghum with potato equipment. Here's potatoes with um gosh, what is that? Sugar cane? I don't know. It's not potatoes. All right. So let's accept the contract. And we will head over there. Can I fit through here? Ooh, I can. Looks like there's no collisions on that. So fortunately, we're good. I think for some reason I have traffic turned off right now too. So that's working in our favor. But here is our sorghum. And I'm just gonna jump right into it. Now, what I hope is that this will yield less than a full hopper. And that way, things will be much easier. So my absence from making videos was, I want to say, almost two months. Basically, since I moved in to my new apartment, I have been so busy unpacking, working, just being sick with the cold. <laughs> I just have not been feeling well enough to record videos. But I'm all moved in. Well, I'm 90% moved in. So I'm not spending all my free time working to, you know, unpack boxes, put up curtains, all that kind of stuff. And so what I want to do is I want to make at least three videos a week, which is more than I, I think I've ever made in a week. But I'm going to take more of a like a casual approach to making videos so not so much editing and hopefully what that does for you guys is it gives you you know three videos a week to watch 
Um, I may not be dazzling you with my, um, you know, video recording and editing skills all the time. But hopefully that's a good compromise. Anyway, that's the plan for right now. But I'm letting you guys know so that you can hold me accountable to that. I am going to keep my live streams at two a week. Currently, that's on Tuesdays and Fridays in the like mid to late afternoon for me here in Central U.S. With sorghum, you're cutting not very low on the stalk, and so you don't see a big difference in the harvested and unharvested crop. So I hope I'm not missing that much. We're 80% full, so we're definitely gonna have to empty at least once. Now on the positive side, hopefully that gives us some uh hopefully that increases our chances of getting some leftover crop and instead of selling it uh we'll just put it in our silo Let's go get our tractor. We'll need to reconfigure our trailer. Need to put the panels back on it so that we can load it up with some crop. So let's do that first. We do not need it as a bale trailer currently. There we go. And that is what we need. All right. And I missed it. <laughs> Let's go around one more time. I uh, came in there a little hot. And uh, so I was a little scared about getting up too close. That should do it. All right. And... Just check. So we're 42% complete already. I, I hope that tells me that maybe just one more hopper full. I don't know. I don't know, it's gonna be close. You know, I think for the rest of this, we'll just do a little montage. So, hope you enjoy. Don't look before you leave. What you give, you get to keep. 
so long, farewell, bye-bye Let's have a toast for those lost old eyes And my crooked little heart That seems so rebellious Is falling apart right now I'm bleeding, I'm easy kid You can probably tell I hired a worker, mainly just so I could get some good montage shots. But I thought I would do a little carding. We are full, I believe. We are. So we're going to cover this and take it over to where we need to be. I will let him run. And we will head over to the green mill. I maximized the minimap there so you can see where that exclamation point uh, blue diamond is. That is where we are going to be delivering this crop. And we don't have just a whole lot of money, so I am kind of splurging on this worker that we've hired and the money is ticking away so I will be doing that too often and as we go up this hill we are in some lower gears and we are in some lower gears and we're making progress all right I see our worker has a nearly full tank of grain already. Let's get a quick weigh in. Not that we need to. Uh, 12, 7, 25. And I think I have tip side back. Is that true? Let's see. I do. So that'll be fine. Howdy, future Scott Free For All here. Well, what past Scott Free For All is about to realize is that the contracts are broken for whatever reason. This harvested crop is not being applied to the contract and instead we're just getting paid for it. So past Scott Free For All figures this out eventually, but I thought I would let you in on it now. Let's continue. Um. The money is going up. Now let me just see if uh, it says our contract is completed. It still says active. Okay, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Oh, it's just about done. It's 
So I think I will relieve this worker and finish this up myself. There's just a couple little passes up here, and then I think there's a small patch down on the other side of the field that I need to grab as well. That should be it, though. Okay. I'm going to drive this home real quick. I wish I had power washer to wash this equipment off. I don't really want to spend my money on a washer right now. I just don't have a lot of it. Okay. There. I can see a little better now. I have a feeling this is not going to work. <clears throat> okay, so we have just made money on our contract by selling the crop instead of it going toward the contract. So for whatever reason, it is stuck at 80%. Howdy, future Scott Free For All here again. Well, at this point, I figure out that it's busted. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attribute the $1,342 of the contract to me. And I'm going to not get paid for any of the crop that I just delivered. But I'm also not going to take the penalty. So starting with our next episode you will see a correct money value and then what i'm going to do is i'll go back in the video i'll see exactly how much we made on all that sorghum i'll back that out and then i'll add in uh what we should have made on that contract so that's unfortunate that it didn't work for us well, we did what we set out to do. I think I'm going to head back to the farm. And then that'll be it for this video. So I'll advance the day before we meet again. And also figure out what we can uh, do. Should be fun. Anyway, I enjoyed it today. We got a lot done, got our fields fertilized, did a little contract. We ran into a snafu with the game, but all is well. Guys, it's good to be back. I will see you very soon. Till then, this is Scott Free For All. See you later.